Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're going to stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two. Are you ready to stomp with me? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at Storytime, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Welcome, welcome. It is so nice to get to read and sing with you today. Today we're going to read some monkey stories. We're going to be reading about monkeys, so we're going to use monkeys as our word of the day. So for bread and butter, we clap our hands and then we clap our knees. We clap our hands and then our knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say monkeys as fast as we can. Monkeys, 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 monkeys. It's pretty good. Let's try one more time. Ready? Monkeys, 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 monkeys. Not too shabby. All right, let's try another. Here we go. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say monkeys as slowly as we can. Monkeys. Good job. Let's try that one more time. Ready? We're gonna start with that M noise. Monkeys. Great job. Let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say monkeys as loud as we can. Monkeys! Great job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say monkeys as quiet as we can. Monkeys. Great job. Let's see what our first monkey story is today. This is, Where's My Mom? Oh, where's my mom? Where's my mom is by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Let's see, where's my mom? Hmm, here's the monkey. I've lost my mom. Hmm. Hush, little monkey, don't you cry. I'll find her, said the butterfly. Let's have a think. How big is she? She's big, said monkey. Bigger than me. Hmm, bigger than you. Then I've seen your mom. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. <gasps> Ta-da! Here's your mama. No, no, no. That's an elephant. My mama isn't a great big hunk. She's got a tusk and a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees. And anyway, her tail coils round trees. Do you see how the monkey can coil its tail around the tree? Yeah. Hmm, said the butterfly. She coils round trees. Well, then she's near. Quick, little monkey, she's over here. <gasps> Ta-da! Is that monkey's mama? No, 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 that's a snake. Mom doesn't look a bit like this. She doesn't slither about and hiss. She doesn't curl round a nest of eggs. And anyway, my mom's got more legs. Ooh, it's legs you're looking for now, you say. I know where she is then. Come this way. Do you think the butterfly found the mama? Let's see. <gasps> Ta-da! Who do we have here? Ta-da! No, 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 that's a spider. Mom isn't black and hairy and fat. She's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly. 
She lives in the treetops way up high. Hmm, lives in the trees? You should have said, your mommy's hiding overhead. Let's see, do you think the butterfly found the mom this time? What do we think? Ready? <gasps> Is that the mama? No, 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 that's a parrot. Mama's got a nose and not a beak. She doesn't squawk and squabble and, she and shriek. <laughs> she doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyway, my mom leaps and springs. Ah, I've got it. She leaps about. She's just round the corner without a doubt. What do you think? Did the butterfly find the mama? If not, what else, what other animal might the butterfly have thought of? Something that leaps and springs. What animals leap and spring? There's a couple of them that like to do that. Let's see. <gasps> Is that the mama? <laughs> no, 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 that's a frog. Butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mom's not green and she doesn't croak. She's not all slimy. Oh dear, what a muddle. She's brown and furry and nice to cuddle. Brown and furry. Oh, why didn't you tell me so? I'll find her in time. Off we go. Let's see. <gasps> Ta-da! Is that the mama? No, 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 that's a... What is this? That's a bat. Why do you keep on getting worse? Mom doesn't sleep. Oh, keep getting it wrong. Mom doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you, she's got no wings at all. Anyway, she's not nearly so small. Hmm, your mom's not little. Now let me think. She's down by the river having a drink. <gasps> Did we finally find the mama? Let's see. Is that the mama? No, no, no. That's the elephant again. Butterfly, butterfly, can't you see? None of these creatures look like me. Like, you never told me she looked like you. Well, of course I didn't. I thought you knew. I didn't know. I couldn't, you see because none of my babies look like me. So she looks like you. Well, if that's the case, we'll soon discover her hiding place. Is that right? Do butterflies' babies look like her? They don't. They don't. What are butterflies' babies? Are they caterpillars? Yeah, they're caterpillars. They don't look like her. And that's true for a lot of us. A lot of us don't look like our parents. Isn't that right? But now the butterfly knows that monkey's mom does look like him. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see. <gasps> Ta-da! Is that monkey's mama? No, 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 that's my dad. Come on, little monkey. Come, come, come. It's time we took you home to mom. The end. <laughs> look at that snuggle. Great listening, everyone. I think it's time for us to do a little counting rhyme. We're gonna start off with five monkeys. Can you hold up five fingers? We have one, two, three, four, five. Good job. Five little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped a monkey right out of the tree. Now, how many monkeys do we have left? Four, that's right, four. Can we count them together? One, two, three, four. Can you hold up four fingers? Good job. Four little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped a monkey right out of the tree. Now, how many monkeys do we have left? One two, three. Can you hold up three fingers at home? Good job. Three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator quiet as can be and snapped a monkey right out of the tree. Now how many do we have left? One, two, two. Can you hold up two fingers at home? Good job.
<laughs> Two little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped a monkey right out of the tree. <gasps> How many do we have left? Just one. Can you hold up one finger at home? Good job. One little monkey swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped a monkey right out of the tree. Now, how many monkeys do we have left? Zero. We have no more monkeys. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Let's go ahead and sing another song. We're going to listen to some animals at the zoo. Can you hear the monkey shrieking at the zoo? <laughs> can you hear the monkey shrieking at the zoo? <laughs> Do you think you can make monkey noises at home too? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> can you hear the monkey shrieking? Can you hear the monkey shrieking? Can you hear the monkey shrieking at the zoo? <laughs> Good job. Let's think of another animal we could do. How about an elephant? Do you hear that elephant's trumpeting at the zoo? Can you trumpet at home? Do you hear that elephant's trumpeting at the zoo? Do you hear that elephant's trumpeting? Do you hear that elephant's trumpeting? Do you hear that elephant's trumpeting at the zoo? Good job, everyone. How about do you hear the tigers growling at the zoo? Arr. Can you growl at home? Arr. Good job. <laughs> Do you hear the lion, the tigers growling at the zoo? Arr. Do you hear the tigers growling? Do you hear the tigers growling? Do you hear the tigers growling at the zoo? Arr. Good job. Let's do one more. Let's do a big lion. Do you hear the lions roaring at the zoo? Roar! Do you hear the lions roaring at the zoo? Roar! Do you hear the lions roaring? Do you hear the lions roaring? Do you hear the lions roaring at the zoo? Roar! Good job, everyone. Well done. Let's see what our second and last story is today. We have... Two Little Monkeys by Mem Fox. Two Little Monkeys. This is written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Jill Barton. Let's see what happens in Two Little Monkeys. Two little monkeys playing near a tree. One named Cheeky, one named Chi. Hello, Cheeky. Hello, tree. Better stay close to the big old tree. Look out, Cheeky! Look out, Chi! There's something prowling. What could it be? What do you think might be in the grass? There's something in the big grass. What could that be hiding in there? Let's see. Two little monkeys run to the tree. One named Cheeky, one named Chi. Scramble up, Cheeky! Scramble up, Chi! Scramble up that big old tree. Can you pretend to scramble up a tree? Scramble all the way up, get out of danger. Two little monkeys trembling in the tree. One named Cheeky, one named Chi. Hide away, Cheeky. Can you put your hands over your eyes? Hide away, Cheeky, hide away, Chi. Make sure you're hidden in the big gold tree. Two little monkeys peeping. Can you peep with your hand? from the tree. One named Cheeky, one named Chi. Who is that prowling? Who do you see? Who do you think it is? Let's see. Ooh, it's a leopard. Oh, scary. Careful, Cheeky, careful, Chi. Don't fall out of the big gold tree. Two little monkeys leap from the tree. One named Cheeky, one named Chi. <gasps> Land. Well done, Cheeky. Well done, Chi. What a brave leap from the big old tree. Are they somewhere safe? Yeah. 
Now you're safe, as safe as can be. You clever little monkeys, cheeky and chi. The end. Great listening, everyone. Good job. I think it's time for us to end story time with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Can everyone get on their feet? We're gonna find our heads. Can you find your heads with me? Can you find your head? There we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Do you think we can try it a little faster? Here we go, ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you all for coming today. And head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. I hope you all have the most wonderful day. And don't forget, we have in-person story time on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 1030 if you want to stop by. If not, I will see you here next week, and I can't wait to read to you some more. Bye-bye. <laughs>